Hi, Ute here, and we promised you this is our conditioner. You want to know how to do it your own? Follow us. Hello, this is Ute and this is Ken. Hello. And today we will show you what we promised you, conditioner. So, you need, and you see my broiler is <laughs> already in action. Let me just put on some gloves. I made one batch already this af afternoon to see how it works. And this is the batch from this afternoon. And I want to make it together with you so you know how it works and what kind of ingredients and the amount of ingre <laughs> ingredients you need. So here we are. Sexy gloves here. Wee -wee. What do we need here? You need a broiler or a pot and a glass in there too. Cocoa butter which is 30 grams and then we have coconut oil 30 grams together with the cocoa <laughs> cocoa butter and coconut <laughs> so they can bind together and then we have 30 gram or one tablespoon of jojoba oil not in there we put it in there and then we have I'm speaking here a one teaspoon of aloe vera not in here in here and last but not least we have 15 drops of rosemary oil essential oil and 10 drops of lavender so these are the main ingredients for our conditioner and it's, ah, it's nearly done. The cocoa butter has to be melted together with a coconut oil. <laughs> so we, we then have the basic to put to the other ingredients we already have here. And then while I'm waiting here, um, you remember this, these are the deo we have a video everything natural no chemicals we have also the toothpaste you remember check 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 <laughs> no chemicals and from last uh, video we have the shampoo may you remember i had it in the same bottle like this but we figure it out it's better to put it in a we, that's called foam bottle so you put it in a foam bottle and then you can not with the gloves i show you later the different you put it on your hand or in your hand and then it's easier i think it's easier for me to wash my hair instead of having this liquid and it's rinsing all over and i want it here so that's why and i have by tomorrow this is i think it's 250 milli do you remember ken around 250 milli this is 250 and this is a lot so tomorrow i will get little ones with one ounce and the one ounce and then I will have with two ounce. So this is a better size if you want to take it to work because you want your own soap um, or your own shampoo or whatever you need it when you go to sport. It's easier with the little ones. And the little ones are foam bottles as well. So you have it nice and yeah, like a foam, like, how do you say this? Um, for your ice cream, on top of your ice cream. Whipped cream. <laughs> Whipped cream, oh my God, Ken. I'm losing my mind here. All right, everything is melted together and now we will combine it with the other ingredients. Um, put it back here and then you have to stir it. No, I'm too lazy to stir it. You know what I'm taking? <laughs> That's my best friend beside this one. Just bind it together. Sounds like you're sitting at the dentist. No. <laughs> So that's it already. It's everything is combined, but it's right now it's it's really hot, so you have to let it cool down. And that's why I made the first batch this afternoon here, and I want to show you the different. So this is the foaming bottles, but as I said, this is still the big ones. So if you let me take off my gloves. If you want to take this as your conditioner and you put it in your hand, it's it's liquid and I don't like it. I don't like it as a liquid, I like it as a foam. So the difference is when you, let me open this. 
when you put it in this foam container. And I mean, the idea would be if you want to store, if you make a bigger batch, you can store it in these little bottles or in a little bit bigger bottles um, and just fill it up in, as I said, tomorrow I will have the smaller ones, um, just fill it up in the foam bottles. So shake, shake. And now it's a new bottle. I hope I can manage this. <laughs> no, it has a trick to it. Yeah, can. So one second here. <laughs> There's a marking on it. There we go. Oh, well, <laughs> that worked the, out. Okay, this is not the way it should be. There. I hope it's working now. Yep. Okay, so now we just filled the liquid in this foam bottle, and then you have to figure it out, like Ken did, how to turn it around. And then you pump it, and it's still the same. <laughs> That's strange. This is because with the soap, and we don't have the video for the soap. With the soap, I have to find out why the conditioner is not working like this. Because there's no soap in the conditioner. Yeah, but I like it for me. So because with the soap, you see, and I was hoping the conditioner is coming out like this, but it's not. So we'll have to think of another we recipe. Have to figure it out why it is not foaming. So, but here you have a video from us, and you see not everything is working out with the first time. And I will definitely, or we will find out why the conditioner is not foaming like the soap. As I said, the soap video will be the next. We are not starting with soap bars. No, we have here our liquid soap. Um, we will have a video about this. And it's a hand soap and a body soap. Yeah, that's true, Ken. Yeah. We can use it as a soap for your hands, for your body wash, for your, uh, or even when you go to the, in the shower and you use the same. Yeah. So it's, it's really nice. And I'm so sorry that this is not foaming, but as I said, that's life. And we will, we will figure it out why it's not foaming, even with the right bottle, and we'll let you know, okay? And what else? So what's exactly in there now? Oh, in, in the conditioner, which is not foaming. <laughs> Maybe I put it back here. We have 30 gram of cocoa butter. We have 30 gram of cocoa, uh, cocoa oil. <laughs> and we have two teaspoons no, one teaspoon of jojoba oil, aloe vera, we have, do you say aloe vera or aloe vera? So you know what I mean. Um, one teaspoon and 10 drops of rosemary and 15, no, the other way around. Now I'm totally confused. 15 drops of rosemary and 10 drops of lavender, but we will um, blend it somewhere here or here or here. <laughs> we'll put it in the comments. Okay, you will find it. And as I said, Again, we are sorry, but that's life. So you see, not everything is working out of the books. We have to figure it out why it is not foaming. But I hope still, or we hope you enjoyed everything and you will like and subscribe. And please check out our other videos because that worked. Well, I'm sure we're going to figure something out that'll work. So by the next time, we'll post again a new conditioner and somehow we'll get it. So. Back to the... <laughs> yeah, as Ken already said, we are working on it. Now I'm losing all my bottles here. Um, we are working on it and we will definitely let you know what we can do differently or it is what it is and you have to use it like a liquid and not like our foam. Maybe our customer knows or have an idea why this is not foaming, but... Our uh, viewers may know. Yeah, but I will go ahead. Leave your comment in the bottom. Yes, Ken. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I don't have to say it because there's really no um, med medical, but yeah, okay, I see Ken behind the camera. I am your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor. I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. So, as I said before, Ken jumped in. Um, we would love to see that you like and subscribe our VT channel. We have every Saturday in the morning a new video for you, um, DIY video um, with new products and healthy products for your skin without any chemicals. All right, okay. We hope you can give us maybe a tip why this is not foaming in the bottle. Um, we are waiting for it and we are open for it, okay? See you soon, bye bye.